Welcome back viewers to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Post Fury with Bill 89. During this episode we'll be going to get Gohan and have some rocks thrown in, which should be fun. Anyway, let's press on, shall we? Now as you remember in the last episode there was quite a few games. And pretty much is here. What the hell is wrong with this world? You'd think that with the great Saiyan man running around that everyone would be scared and not do any crimes. Apparently that's not the case then. Well, let's turn into the gold fighter. Maybe like that might scare me. No, he's just gonna shoot me instead. At least the music's different in this area. I was getting quite an idea of the whole happy-go-lucky type music. Okay, for this area you've got to, uh, this is your second character gate and you've got to be level 65 to enter. Good thing I'm level 67. Right. Speak to Goten? Yeah. I'm sure you're so used to that, Gohan. I don't... They, if they did training like this, like if they did... Say like in San Andreas where you've got to go to the gym to improve your strength. Um, in this they did like several different challenges, like you've got to lift boulders or use your ka Kamehameha Blast to destroy things or something. Like a training mechanic like that, and you've got to dodge the rocks to improve your speed. That would improve gameplay and probably keep you in the game for longer. Right, now let's see if I can do this first time. Because normally I get hit at least once. Oh, I did do it first time. Hooray! Quite an arm. Yeah, he has, but he still didn't hit you. Because Gohan, you must be so used to it. No, Gohan, Gohan, don't become a dork. And a terrible liar. Oh, Super Saiyan. I think at least they do stick to a little bit in this aspect where Gohan does actually help him train, and then he shows him. But, as I've said before, I did get very, very, very annoyed when I did the whole transformation thing too early. I thought in the last game you would sort of end it. But in this one, no, I, I just feel like it's too much. Like it's a slap to the balls. Well, at least he gets to beat on his brother a bit. You see, he's not even that strong. None of, none of the enemies in this game are strong. You can... I could be under-leveled here, or under level 65, and I would still beat him. But... As soon as there's going to be a big jump in how, it, how the enemies react here... So... And that's when I'll probably train up a bit, like, quite a lot. Like, every single character to about level 100. Well, yes, Vegeta, he is about 8 years old. Oh god, not now. Not again. Okay, and he's Super Saiyan as well. I can't help but think that they recycled a few of the sprites from this game as well. And just remoulded them with the Vegeta one. I thought that was exactly the same. Come here, Trunks. My youngest child of Kakarot. He doesn't even know who Kakarot is, I guess. <laughs> I love the little pun. Dad, since I can become a Super Saiyan, can I enter the World Tournament? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Charles to be. Be Vegeta, you'll get to do your favourite pastime. Beating up people. And you'll be then you'll be able to beat up your son as well. Oh, great. Right, if I don't do it this time, I'll pause it until I do do it. After a certain amount of time as well, you lose Super Saiyan in here. But all you've got to do is hit Vegeta. Oh, nice one. Well, at least he got his son. Actually, only got his dad. Well, he never said he would. I'm surprised I don't do a, uh, a sprite animation of him crying. Or was that it? Wow, who cries from the head? I like the little techno remix thing of an ear. And 
here we have the Boring City music. Don't have too much fun. Wow, oh my god, Vegeta said the word fun. Into the way. I do some training if I were you. I want you to be stronger than Kakarot's body. Do you understand me? Hey, yes, sir. I understand me well, boy. Just because you're going to become a Super Saiyan, it doesn't mean you know it all. For example, Well, well, we are going to need this mechanic quite a bit in the future. And what, what level is trained? 60. Okay, so we now have as characters Trunks and Gohan. And it, I find this a bit odd. You can set everyone to Super Saiyan and change characters, but they don't change back to the normal forms. But when you go onto the world map, like, like so, you just. Uh, this. When you turn them Super Saiyan and go to fly on the world map, they turn back to normal. That's that's another one of my little pet peeves about this game. It does really annoy me. Okay. So this game does do things quite well for a sequel, but it is too easy. And the fighting mechanics are okay, and so is the blocking mechanic and this invincibility one. I'm sure that wasn't in the last game as well. Right, now, Trunks is level 60, and that is enough to do the World Tournament, so I'll go see Bulma and I'll head to the World Tournament. Now, she won't be stood in her house this time, she's stood outside. Okay, in front of me. Are you ready to go to the World Tournament? Yep, okay, let's get going. You don't want to be you like to see Goku. No. I forget everyone focuses on him. Why can't it ever be about me? Okay. Everyone was hidden inside that thing. Vegeta, you can fly faster than the speed of light and you're worrying about this. Hey Vegeta. This guy's for Goku pretending from my Oh yeah. Gohan is um, wearing his same man outfit, but not the helmet. It seems a bit stupid. Not that you haven't had them already on there anyway, Bulma. That's the right attitude to have. But it could be a big problem. How so? No, I don't think so, Krillin. Krillin, you're like one of the strongest people in the world. All you got to do is flick your big toe at them. And that must be the shortest journey in the world. One person who was a bit annoyed didn't make it for the characters in this game was Piccolo. No, hey, look, Goku's back. Because in the last game, Piccolo got two, like, a transformation as well, which was quite cool when he formed the camera. Hey guys, I'm back. Wow. Gohan, you're a giant! I uh, believe in Goku, it's really you! And I'm pretty sure he started crying here. In service. And Chi Chi doesn't really look any different. Aw, oh, she's missed him. He just said a little love hat. Who's this guy? He looks a little like me. Well, he is your son, and you do know who he is. I'm Goten! Hi, I'm Goku. Your father. Yes, that's pretty much self explanatory. But we have to move to the registration area. Right, well, once again, go to my trucks. And in, here, in this area, you can't transform. Fight. I'll leave this for this episode and next episode I'll start the world turn and hopefully some bloody plot will develop. I'm sorry about all the text heavy issues, it is an RPG game, and a pretty good one in my opinion. So this is Yo89 saying keep watching. <laughs>